gets me every time. Welcome back, dear viewers, to the RPG Imaginarium, where here we seek to catalog the best traditional gaming stories the internet has to offer. Tonight, we bring you the story of Crod, the Angry Carpenter, posted by Scribe Killjoy on 4chan's TG board. As always, a link to the original story is provided below. This was a wrap-up for a module we were playing, but I had the fun the whole way. I played Crod, the half-orc rogue, with a flail. Because in Pathfinder, just about any weapon can get sneak attack damage. Crod is over seven feet tall and speaks in the third person whenever he thinks someone is watching. Said to the paladin, Crod suggests you look the other way while he's shopping. He wasn't dumb, but people never expect the idiot to be running a crime ring. Crod was a good stealth guy, but he shined in intimidation, plus 13 at level 3. This made for great moments as the game went on. The first time he was sneaking around, I fumbled his stealth roll. I looked at the GM. Crod rears up and screams at the top of his lungs. You no see Crod! I critted the roll. According to the GM, I stunned all the goblins there, except for one who immediately went back to doing what he was doing previously, and desperately tried to pretend I was not there. That was Crod. One of his quotes was, Only two things see Crod. Dead things and things that know better than to admit it. So, at the end of the module, my group is breaking up a local cult, and we get caught in the middle of the leadership while trying to steal incriminating documents. So, we fight and against all odds defeat the leadership and their mask golem. It helped when Crod kneecapped it with a sneak attack with his two-handed flail. Crod's standing over the cult leader and the guy gives his big bad evil last words. Big bad evil guy, I should have known you were unbelievers from the start. Crod shrugs. Crod always consider self-militant agnostic. Crod not really know what he believe. Half's flail, and he is very frustrated with that. Crunch. Good old Crod. Oh, Crod had a lot of fun in a short set of campaigns. At one point, Crod is hanging with his group as we travel by river. When the GM notes we are passing another boat, he asks us where we were. I said Crod was in the crow's nest. The boat is too small. There is no crow's nest. He built one. He can't build a crow's nest. I haven't chosen a craft skill yet. Crod is a carpenter in free time. He enjoy working with hands in a way that doesn't require he put down tarp. You have no tools. Crod glares at some spare planks and they know better than not to be a crow's nest. I roll to intimidate the wood. Roll it. Natural 20. Crod now has the craft skill angry carpenter. Still. One of my favorite moments was when I had to add a little distraction. The group had infiltrated the earlier mentioned cult and we were being processed. Our mage wanted to sneak off and check on some enchantment or another and I volunteered to keep their attention. The GM smirks and says, Okay, what do you do? Crod tells an entertaining story to distract the acolytes. Okay, tell me a story, no roll. Tell me the story. Challenge accepted. Okay. Crod gets them talking about themselves and eventually says, Crod had lots of jobs before coming here. Bouncer, bodyguard, gigolo, city guard. Gigolo? Yup. Crod was kept man for noble lady. She get off on Crod not being fancy. Crod had to quit though. One of the acolytes says, Why did you quit? Fancy pants suitor get mad at Crod for taking his woman. Challenge Crod to duel. Then Crod kill him. And she kicked you out? No. Noble lady, get off on that too. Police get real mad though. But duels are legal. Yes, but only if you kill man during duel. You killed him outside of the duel? Fancy pants tell Crod to choose weapon. Crod choose surprise. The group had collected some incriminating evidence and returned to town. They'd spent the last two weeks going through cult boot camp and now they're in a bar. While the leader finds the police chief, we order food and Crod finds a wench and proceeds to woo her in the third person. One of our group, a cat girl type thing, is approached by a waitress who proceeds to pull from her sleeve a live rat, much to the joy of the cat girl. Cat girl, I love the service here. Crod respects service, but worry for kitchen. The leader comes back and tells us we need more evidence. We have to sneak back into the cult compound before we are found missing. The group isn't thrilled, especially Crod. Me, lip quiver. But, but Crod have wench! Crod cannot leave wench! You got 20 minutes. 
Crod looks offended. Crod many things, but Crod gentlemen. He need more time than that. You got 20 minutes. Crod rolls to intimidate the space-time continuum! No, he doesn't! You could roll to intimidate her to finish quicker. Crod never bring work to bedroom. He treat Wench like the beautiful flower she is when Crod bets her. She thanks you for that. Shut up, Wench! Crod talking! Sigh. 40 minutes. Crod rolls for acrobatics, like hell you are! Boom, nat 20! God damn it. Crod had a merry time at the cult. The first time Crod talks out of the line, the GM says, Your instructor bops you on the head, saying, No talking! Crod very slowly turns and glares a hole in the man. Bop. Crod. Again. I roll intimidation. 19. Plus 13. 32 for intimidation. Crod is level 3 at the time. The GM, he never makes eye contact with you again. Ah, but Crod was not always so lucky. At one point, he's elected to map out the compound and sneak to the top floor in disguise. He gets up the stairs and a pair of magic doors stops him. The door are 12 feet high and engraved with scenes of decadence in many forms from feasts to orgies. Crod is struggling to remember why he is against this holy place. Problem. Crod kind of forgot to put a lot of points in pick lock. He's average at best, and he rolls shit. He gets frustrated after getting hit with an ice blast twice in the face. Stupid enchanted portway! Why you taunt Crod? The silver doors do not reply. Wait, the doors are made out of silver. The cat girl says they're silver plated, right? GM, the module just says silver. Me. Okay, Crod rolls to pocket the doors. No, you don't. I'm not leaving without these. How are you going to hide 12 foot doors? Crod's wearing robes and he has a skill for a holdout or whatever. No. Crod rolls Angry Carpenter on doors. They're made of silver. Angry Carpenters only intimidate wood. Me. Damn. That's true. Well, I can't get them open. We'll settle this later. So Crod leaves dejected but not beaten. Multiple sessions later, we clear out the leadership of the cult, and the group knows we're done. The GM is moving, and this is a nice stopping point. As we're cleaning up the bodies, I remember those accursed doors. Me. Hey, wizard! I need your help. Help disenchant doors. We're stealing these. GM, you won't let this go, will you? No. Crod never leaves job half done. Wench is half loved, or half stuff, half stolen. It matter of pride at this point. And gambling debts. Crod nods. That too. Fine, but you get those doors on a net 20 and you get them past the guards in town on the same roll. You know, I don't recall the name of the class that gives himself and teammates luck bonus, but with his help and a poorly worded module, well, Crod retired a happy orc. Thank you all once again for tuning in to another RPG Imaginarium. We're glad you enjoy these videos and stories. If you enjoyed this video and want more like it, how about giving us a like and subscribing to our channel? We're always glad to hear your feedback, and if you have a story you'd like us to read, go ahead and send us a link, whether it's your story or post it somewhere else. And, of course, we will actually credit you. Thanks again. Stay caffeinated.